Welcome to Colombia, Bogota, the capital of Colombia, which is a super, super nice city. So far, we are totally impressed. Yeah, we didn't know really, again, anything about the country or the city. And it's just, it's just amazing. Look, look at it. This is the huge city of Bogota and we've been here now for a couple of days. We've been to restaurants. We did a free food tour yesterday. So actually the tour was free. You only had to pay for the stuff that you were getting on the tour and it was super affordable, like crazy cheap. I'm telling you for all of the food and it was like eight stations or something like that. It was 10, 12 bucks per person, even less. Maddie's telling me right now, which is super crazy. So Bogota so far, really, really nice. To Today we are going to the Salt Cathedral. It's a two hour drive with a bus outside of Bogota to the north. It's an old salt mine and they've built a cathedral in there. It's supposed to be super, super beautiful from the pictures that I've seen. So we can't miss out on that, right Maddie? Exato, Maddie is cleaning up the apartment in the background because we've made a mess again, <laughs> you know us. And yeah, so let's go. Cerrando. Portal del Norte is quite outside of the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. We made it to the bus terminal Norte, right? Yes, our Uber driver was very nice. Yes. So now we are trying to get a bus ticket, which should be one dollar per person, and then go to the Sol Casino. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Being confused at the bus terminal because there are so many booths here selling you stuff, so we need to ask. It feels like there are a thousand brands, so all deliver you to somewhere. So getting escorted, he makes sure we get the bus. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> It gives you some impressions here. So it's not as safe as Panama or Costa Rica, it doesn't feel that safe. And people also already welcomed us as gringos, so they don't appreciate us being here, I think. But let's head to the Salt Cathedral and enjoy it. And then maybe take another bus back that starts directly at the Salt Cathedral. <laughs> I would feel better over that. A lot better. <laughs> Cathedral. Mm. It looks nice. It looks oh, romantic. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. it looks it looks magical. It's like entering, you know, Final fa Final Fantasy, and you're going into a dungeon, right? Look at it, guy. Listening to uh, this audio guide now. Maybe it tells Number me something two. interesting. Here, there is less water Salt everywhere. Lick it. Very salty. I expected it to be sweet. <laughs> Nah, just trying to be funny here. It's pretty impressive. I mean, I mean, the entrance fee was higher than expected. It was for both of us around $50, but still, I mean, what the hell. Now we're here, drove two hours here. Let's see how the new camera holds up in this very dark circumstances here. Uh -huh. But I think it'll be fine. They got different flags from all around the world illuminating this tunnel, which we're about to see.
grill is really nice. Like, dope shit. I mean, look at it. With the music and the light. It's kind of a place you need to see. I bet it's in the 1000 things to see before you die, huh? Should be. Should be, yeah. It's crazy. It's like 100 yards in this direction carved into the mountain. It's really impressive. It's a crazy experience, guys. If you're ever here in Bogota, in Colombia, come here, spend the 50 bucks for the two of you, and then have a wonderful time. It's crazy. It's a salt mine, and they carved here almost how many? 180. One, 180 of those corridors, galleries, galleries they call it. Mm -hmm. And 24 are for public access and part of the cathedral. The rest is more salt mine part. I really like it. With the music, they really try to give us some atmosphere here. And it's really nice that you can go down and up everything, so there's basically no restriction. And there's always a very artsy meaning to all of them, but I can't describe. <laughs> you need to hear it for yourself. Okay, I just figured that these ones are made to pray, I assume. Very hard though. <laughs> Not good for the knees. Guys, this is so impressive. So that's the view through multiple chambers. Man, the structures and the lighting, it's just, it's just incredible. dome should represent the presence of God. So you know the sky above you with God. Okay, two things. What I really like is that they make a lot of holes in the ground so nobody is slipping. Second thing I just heard is that this there is the biggest underground cross in the world. Probably there are not a lot of underground crosses in the world but this is supposed to be the biggest. Tiny yet, but we're getting there. The angel is very important and on the foot of the statue is in Latin standing you are the salt of the earth. Okay, going down the stairs. Guys, this is gonna be a very dark episode of Media Sasha, literally it's speaking. Really yeah, because it's so dark in here. This is really turning into a maze. And what I think is also really crazy is in a normal church you got like one main corridor, one church ship and here you get so many, that's something. We've never, never, never seen anything comparable to this salt cathedral thing here. If you're in Bogota, it's really a must do. It's enormous. It combines churches and mountains and art and illumination and oh wow. <laughs> really, it's just incredible.
Okay, guys, what needs to exist in a salt cathedral underground? Of course, gelato. <laughs> Okay, so after you're leaving the sacred part of this place, it turns into a shopping mall. <laughs> Jewelry, clothes, everything. Superheroes made out of salt, I think. Yeah. Can we go out of the gift shop? So just waiting for the train. This will probably be our last stop here, our last attraction, right? Cathedral was, was very nice, right? Let's wait a couple of minutes for the train, nice. eat some snacks, and let's get out of here. Last for no, no return, baby, on the summer night. The shot of love and the spark of love to me. great was worth it definitely must see never seen anything like it so this concludes our little tour here to the salt cathedral of colombia of bogota of the little town here it was nice mm -hmm. very nice bit pricey but still okay 40 something for the both of us hope you like this little impression now we're just gonna take an uber i guess back to bogota and have a little dinner in our lovely apartment yes since we already spent enough money today exactly okay all right guys so see you in the next one huh see you in the next one Let's have a comforting Dunkin' Donut muffin. Na gringa. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus what? is condemned to death. Okay, let's let's keep moving. It doesn't sound too friendly. Let's get into the chambers of Jesus, of ba babies, rabies Jesus. Rabies Jesus is back. Caitlin, Derek, rabies Jesus is back. On the seventh day, he walked into the salt cathedral and was condemned to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And. Again, it reminds me of Final Fantasy X, the Omega Ruins. I am right now in the Omega Ruins, seriously. There's even Final Fantasy music playing. Statement change. This street, in this plaza, in this village, we feel safe and it's very nice. And they have very nice looking cafes and restaurants. On the parallel street, on the other hand, we didn't feel safe and I still would feel safe there now, I think. Even with the sun. But sun make, makes everything better. Let's get to have some food or at least a drink and then head off. Mwah! <laughs>